Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking about transporting your camera and how a new type of bag is changing the game. So here's my C200 setup. It has changed quite a bit over the last couple of months. Um, we've got V-mount battery, battery plate, Teradek Bolt 500 transmitter, top handle, seven inch monitor, shape cage, wireless receiver, um, lens, mat box, all on a 15 millimeter rail system. Now, this is what I need to shoot my commercials and the narrative work that I do. Um, this is kind of my go-to default configuration, though I do use it in other ways. The problem is that this takes about 15, more like 20 minutes to build um, before I start shooting if I transport it around the way that I've been doing in a hard case. 15, 20 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but since I have to break the camera down to get it into the case, assemble the camera on set, break the camera down on set once I've finished, and then build it back again to shoot here, it's an hour out of my day at least. But more than that, if I uh, forget any one of these cables, if one of these, like if I someone comes up to me and asks me something in the middle of um, one of those in that hour, and this gets left behind, suddenly I get to set I try building the camera and I can't shoot. I need to send someone back for this um, DTAP Limo cable or else uh, we're not shooting anything. And that's really, that's really sad to bug me. What I wanna do is transport this whole camera in a state to shoot from the studio to the set and from location to location um, while making sure that it doesn't um, get dropped or splashed or get wet uh, or generally broken. Um, so I discovered this. This is the Tenba Cinelux 21 high top shoulder. Um, and it is a doctor's bag. So it's just one large opening that fits the entire camera. Built, powered, um, functional, exactly as I wanna shoot. I basically get to set, open the bag, put this on the tripod and I'm away. So I'm saving an hour a day doing that, which is on a on a film set is huge. Given it is not as secure as a rolling case, it is not as secure as taking all this giant camera apart and putting in individual components. Um, but you know, for the addition of time, it is and the um, addition of knowing that you haven't forgotten anything that you need, it is a absolute game changer, lifesaver. So let's take a look at the bag. Tenba make these in different dimensions. Um, they are incredibly well constructed. They are um, probably of all the bags I've ever owned in my entire life. Um, nothing is really being built like this. Um, uh, everything is reinforced. Everything is the highest um, quality as you'd expect carrying around you know, $25,000 worth of film equipment. You can see the inside, it has a little uh, tie down so you can secure the camera to the bottom of the bag. It has front pockets where you can put your filters or um, store your cards. It has side pockets on either side. It has these um, nylon webbing attachments on the back and on the bottom that you can slip over um, another case. So you can stack them on top of a, your lens case or something else and carry them. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of foam inserts that you can use to wrap lenses and place them around your camera in the bag. This is the 21 high top. This is a special one that they designed for the C300 and C200 being such a tall camera. Um, I love that I can get my C200 in it with the handle attached. Um, I just have to fold the screen down. If you're not, if you're not rocking this large a camera, they also make a mini version. This is the Cinelux shoulder 16. Um, I use it for um, more run and gun setups when I'm not I don't have the 50 millimeter rails on or I'm powering the camera internally, um, but it has a lot of the same features, um, foam inserts, uh, padded um, front and back. It has the same um, slip over uh, case. I took this to Vegas uh, for NAB with my documentary um, configuration of the C200 in it. And I slid it over the top of my carry-on and I had this, um, under the chair in front of me and the carry-on above me when I flew. And uh, it was great, had no problems at all. If you don't want to carry the camera, um, they also make a roller style of these bags. This is the Cinelux Rolling 21. 
it's the same length as the high top, but as you can see, not as tall. This could be great if you're um, shooting some, uh, with something like an Ava 1 or a Blackmagic Ursa Mini, um, something that's not as tall as the Canon C200, C300 models. I really think that uh, for a soft bag, uh, they offer as much protection as you could possibly want. And they're just a great solution for um, getting your camera to set ready to shoot and just saving you a ton of time and a huge peace of mind. Temba was nice enough to send me a whole bunch of swag that we're going to do a giveaway with. Um, leave a description of your worst um, camera carrying experience in the comments. Um, and this time, whoever gets the most upvotes is going to win a whole bunch of Temba gear that you see here. If you travel a lot with your camera um, and you want to find a way to transport it safer, quicker, um, and more efficiently, this could be what you're looking for. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I will see you next time.